We're failing our children, and uh, we're failing as stewards of tomorrow by failing them. So we have something on the order of near 30% of our, the kids in this country are now overweight or obese. Uh, that is a dramatic increase. It's a doubling in the younger kids over a 10-year period. It's tripling among high school kids uh, during the same period who are in that condition. And we're now talking about having a generation of children who are living a lifestyle so poor that they may not live as long as their parents. And that would be the first time in U.S. history that we experience that condition. Um, I think it's, it reflects uh, neglect on the part of all of us adults uh, of an issue that has been growing up before our eyes. I think it, it condemns children unnecessarily to problems that they will endure the rest of their lives. And uh, we see one of the more shameful and shocking things is evidence of type 2 diabetes in children. Type 2 diabetes used to be an old man's disease, and now we see it as the fastest growing condition, chronic condition in children. It's entirely preventable uh, with lifestyle and, and uh, good lifestyle management. And uh, the fact that 30 percent of our children are affected by this uh, would suggest that uh, the nation has to pay attention to it, not just good doctors or YMCAs or schools, but the entire community is going to have to come together to do something about this or it will get worse.